第七十六页阅读测验：竞技啦啦队展现力与美。The rise of cheerleading. Cheerleading has come a long way from the early days of only leading crowds in chants. Today, cheerleading combines the elegance and physicality of dancing with the rigor of being elite gymnasts. Though cheerleading and dancing share many similarities, they are both entirely unique activities. Purpose. Though both are demanding activities, cheerleading is considered a sport, while dancing is seen as a form of art. Cheerleaders are trained to encourage their sports team through routines with chants and cheers. In competitions, precise movements are required. Dancers, on the other hand, put on performances for audiences that showcase their creativity, strength, and agility, while also displaying a strong sense of emotion. Risks of injuries. Just like all physical pursuits, both cheerleading and dancing carry risks of injuries. In fact, every dancer or cheerleader will probably have minor injuries from time to time. But serious injuries differ in nature between these two activities. Dancers tend to suffer from overstretched ligaments and sprains, or even breaking knees and ankles. Cheerleaders are more at risk of severe head and spinal cord injuries due to the stunts and high-flying acrobatics they perform. Careers. Those interested in cheerleading generally start in high school or at a younger age. Though classified as a sport, cheerleading has yet to be included in the greatest honor for athletes, the Olympics. It's also not easy for cheerleaders to extend their careers when they are no longer students. Given their background, a career in sports management or broadcasting can be viable. Meanwhile, dancing offers a more long-lasting career path. After dancers retire, they have the opportunity to become teachers or judges, or go into related fields such as costume design or stage management.